I got to do some grunge work on a portrait here. This is one I shot in Manchester using the Nikon D700 and a 105 2.8 VR lens, quite wide open, to give me uh, detail around the eyes and on the chin, those hairs there, but knocking out a bit of the background around the outside there. Uh, doing a copy layer, so uh, Control J, Command J, or just drag it down onto the new layer icon at the bottom, and just click in there, and we're going to rename this. Well, I'm going to rename this one screen, because uh, that's going to remind me that I'm going into a screen blend mode. So on the drop down menu, I'm just going to choose screen. And you see that blows a lot of things out there. All I want to use is the detail in the eyes. I'm going to hold Alt on and click down on the mask icon. That's going to give me a black filled mask, which I'm going to paint through with white as my foreground color. 30% opacity and just click around in that eye there just to bring that uh, screen blend mode through. And that's looking quite nice. And that's I could have done the same thing with the brightness contrast, use the sliders inverted the mask and uh, painted through again, but uh, for this I just did a background layer. Okay, uh, let's uh, do a stamp copy of uh, these two. Let's just go out a bit and show you what happens. I'm going to stamp a copy of these two and work on the crunchy bits uh, around the outside. So that's my stamped copy. Uh, changing the blend mode again to hard light. Hard light is going to boost up the saturation in the, the colors. So let's go shift control U or shift command U. That's going to desaturate the colors out of that stamped copy layer. So it's looking quite nice. Um, it's blowing out a bit of the highlights. I've added a mask and I'm just going to paint in black now, but still 20% opacity, 30% you can work in just to bring some of that highlight detail back into those areas there that are blown out. I don't want to blow any things out just yet. Um, just keep the tone quite even. You can see there, if I Alt down and click on the mask, you can see what's happened. And if we do the eye icon, you can see what that hard light blend mode layer is doing. To the layers underneath. So there, let's do that on now. Uh, you've got your opacity, of course, to play around with. And uh, that's going a bit tighter. And we're going to work on uh, these eyes around here, especially the eyebrows and things. Uh, so a stamped copy layer again. And uh, I'm just going to go into high pass. Now, high pass, uh, size of this Im image is a 34, 35 megapixel image. I can It can take quite a lot of high pass which uh, you get an image looking like this. So there's a bit of edge contrast happening in there. Uh, to make it work in this kind of context, we're going to change it to hard light. So we're actually over sharpening in hard light. You can see there. And I want to control it, so I'm going to Alt click on my mask icon again and with a white brush, let's just change that. Hit the X key to toggle back to your white. I'm going to add some sharpness in uh, where I want it to by painting through, and this time I'm 50%, so I'm trying to do it quickly. <laughs> I know you probably start yawning if I was here painting in 20%, but yeah, 50% just to work on those areas around there where yeah, there's a lot of texture happening, that slightly unshaven look, crunchy skin, lots of poor detail, uh, and just work around those, bringing the detail back in. Under the eyes as well, those great crease lines there, working under the eyes, just over sharpening those. And if there's some sort of lines across the forehead as well, I'd work in those as well. But just around the eyes there, the eyebrows, got a really nice uh, contrasty effect. Let's go on and off and have a look. Let's just zoom out again. Uh, and I'll hit Control O. That'll make it uh, go full screen. And yet again, another stamped copy. Uh, this time I'm going to multiply by mode, uh, putting a mask on the top of it. The white mask this time, because I want to paint through in black. I just really want to take that background down. So. X key that'll toggle my uh, background or foreground colors so black will come to the fore. I'm painting in 30% this time, so we're going to keep around about 30 to 50%. Just painting in there, bringing back some of that layer underneath, or layers underneath, I should say, with my soft, squishy brush. So that's looking quite good. I'm quite happy with that so far. I mean, really, you could uh, just uh, stop there, but I've done another stamped copy layer, desaturated, shift control, you shift command, you. Change the blend mode to hard light again. Uh, put a mask over, so Alt click on that mask again. We're using the same things on most of these layers, and I just want to uh, put some of that hard light blend mode again over where I've just sharpened. Uh, that's going to again just pop up the contrast in those sharpened areas. You see there, just it's a, quite a subtle thing to do. Uh, it works quite well on the whiskers or unshavenness on the chin down here. Let's just move that up there and work again on the chin. So not only have I sharpened it, I've actually put a bit of hard light blend mode in there as well to really get those textures popping out the screen. Uh, trying to leave the areas which are out of focus or soft focus uh, well alone. So really got some nice, crunchy, hard 
hairy texture in there. Let's have a look at the beginning. I'll click on the icon there. That's where we started from. That's where we're up to. You might want to stop there. I mean, that might be enough for you. Uh, and just uh, flan it all down, save it, or save it as a PSD. Entirely up to you. Uh, and again, going into a brightness contrast. I just want to really knock out uh, the majority of the background now. And you can see there, that's uh, done that. So Alt click or Control invert, I should say, uh, Command invert, and then just paint again with white as your foreground color. I'll paint through that black mask. Uh, just to take out some, uh, well, most of that uh, background colouring, just to isolate the portrait. You don't have to do this, it's just another those little things I'm throwing in there for you to play with. And the brush is quite soft, but I'm really working at 60%, so this gets done a bit quicker. Don't forget, you've got your opacity sliders in all these layers we're working in. Uh, you can go back in and fine tune with your opacity. And let's convert this in straight into black and white. Black and white, uh, it's because it's a portrait, your skin tone's really going to be affected with the reds and the yellow sliders. Uh, and play around. I'm not going to give you any figures and say you must dial these figures in. You've got to get in there and play about and decide what is your magical mix for uh, the skin tones. And I quite like that, but I'd like to brighten up around the lower part of the uh, face. Uh, if I brighten things up, I tend to drop the contrast down as well, so I'm uh, not blowing out those highlight areas, just uh, adding a general brightness to the lower area. And again, inverted it. Uh, control I command I and just painting through with a soft brush again just to bring up those areas down there I'm whizzing through I, I could come back into this and fine-tune it all of course remember that you've got your pasty and everything else uh, a stamped copy uh, layer again and then some blur in this Gaussian blur Gaussian blur uh, to taste uh, I really want to uh, just change this uh, by putting a mask on going to change the blend mode as well to soft light that's going to give it an uh, overall softer look but it's the softness I want to keep uh, in the edges not in the face itself so I'm going to paint through this mask that's on here with black so I hit the X key again that'll get black as my foreground color I'm still working at 60% here with a soft brush uh, 6 percent because I, I want to get through it quickly uh, you might want to work at 30% or 50% around right about there and just painting in to bring back in uh, that detail in the face and the soft light blend mode is working in the background. Right, quick bit of color tinting to end it. Uh, a new layer above it. Let's go to the color picker, choose a color, and then I'm just going to fill that by hitting Alt Backspace. That'll fill that layer up with a color. Uh, you can see there, change blend mode to color blend mode. It went off the screen there, unfortunately. And uh, again, opacity. Very quick way of doing a bit of sepia toning. You can actually put a mask on that as well and paint out areas or put another color layer over and add some eye detail. Let's see how we started off. And that's where we got to. Uh, all the way uh, through this, uh, you can stop at some point and say that's enough, is enough. Uh, I'm going to carry on a bit. Uh, I've done a stamped copy layer again. I'm going to go in and add some more crunchiness by going back in with the high pass filter. I think on four for this size of filter, uh, size of image. Uh, change the blend mode to hard light. You see that's quite aggressive in its sharpening. Let's go on and off. Just show you what's happening there. Uh, thing to do again: yeah, Alt click, Option click on the mask. I'll give you a black filled mask, and then you can paint through it with white. Um, still working at 60%, just to give these areas some real crunchiness. And that's going to give you a, a hard street look of a portrait, a grungy look to your portrait. -ture. Um Lots of different methods in here, lots of uh, blend modes and layers and uh, desaturating. Let's have a look at the beginning. Let's have a look where we got up to at the end. Um, I'll come back with a slightly different method, uh, maybe a bit quicker as well. Uh, so that's been me again. Uh, until the next time, bye for now.